Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got the Thursday LTDs. We got some Zero Chill news, some Zero Chill leaks, and a few other things to go over, so stay tuned for all that. Now, to start off with everything, with the uh, shout-out for today, we do have Brandon Lewis. Shout-out to Brandon Lewis being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. If you guys need coins, pick up these new LTDs, and they do look pretty solid. Gurley's looking good. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below. If holiday discounts are going on, and of course, they'll just give be more discounts throughout the holidays. So make sure you're checking that out. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Trust me, don't waste your money on packs. The LTDs are hard enough to get. Don't waste money and then end up not getting them. Just guarantee yourself some coins and they'll pick them up at a much cheaper price. But we have some updates, we have some leaks, we have some stuff to go over. So definitely stay tuned if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. That's what if you want a chance to be shouted out, like the video, turn the noti bell and comment down below. Poodle Squad. But let's get into the uh, video here. So Todd Gurley is going to be our first LT at 94 overall. So he gets up to a 95 overall. I'll be the first 95 overall running back in the game, I believe. Now, powered up and counted this card's looking super solid. So base, he's got 92 speed, 92 excel, 93 agility, 94 carrying, 67 catching, 88 change of direction, 90 trucking, 92 break tackle. That change of direction is a bit low. About the only upsetting thing on that card. But everything else gets pretty crazy here because he does get... 93 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, 95 carrying, 89 change of direction, 91 trucking, and 93 break tackle. So he's going to be like a better power version of Saquon Barkley, which is great because that's what they usually kill him a little bit. Now the catching will be a bit lower. This girl is going to be probably the best running back in the game right now. And of course you can put Zomer on him, get his juke and stuff up. Gurley's juke should be above a 90 in spin, I believe. That's usually how his cards do go. Uh, Todd Gurley's great. His card looks really, really, really good. He's going to be a lot of money, though. He's probably going to be like 700 to 800K because typically right now, like, I don't know why. They dropped a lot of running backs throughout the year, but they really only dropped like two to three actual meta running backs that were like far and away the best ones. So the price is going to be inflated on one of them whenever they do drop. Like Barkley was super expensive for a while. But this girl looks super good. Uh, 95 overall is a big overall jump. With zone run max, you're probably going to be like a 96. But the power is good. He's going to be able to break away runs break off arm tackles and still make some pretty big plays regardless which is nice to see in a running back force because sometimes you get those guys like let's say reggie bush or barry they can make huge plays but arm tackles could be the death of them and you could see so much green grass doesn't matter guys like Gurley and barkley will break those arm tackles or run through it or keep their momentum while running instead of losing all speed while doing so so that's always nice to see hopefully hopefully Gurley gets some love i'm pretty sure people will be using them hopefully he's not one of those cards with good stats that ends up being completely nerfed that are like as you play with them they just don't feel like their stats that's why i feel like bo jackson is people love bo i feel like bo is nerfed i feel like he feels good on paper he looks good on paper but once you use him he's just never really feels up to what he should feel like which is always kind of upsetting with a card that you paid that much for i paid like 800k for bo and then i pulled him of course but still i lost so much coins on that bo jackson people realized pretty fast that he wasn't that great which was pretty upsetting but moving on to the next screenshot, guys, we do have Nick Bosa here. And Nick Bosa is going to be the right end for the uh, 49ers, which is Joey Bosa's brother. Now, you know, it's so funny, right? Look at this Nick Bosa and think back to last year around Christmas when we got a Nick Bosa card. What's the difference? Last year, Nick Bosa cards were horrible all year. All year. Why? Because he had to work premiere last year. They didn't want to give us a good card. Now that there's no working premiere, he's got a crazy high finesse move, a decent block shot, crazy high play rec, crazy high speed. Last year, they gave him all speed, no power move. I finesse with last year. I'm pretty sure they gave us a Nick Bosa card that was like a 93, 94 overall, who had like similar athleticism. It was like 84 speed, 90 excel, but he had like 87 power finesse move. Like, first off, I don't know if Bosa's dad or his coaches decided they like the Bosa's, right? The brothers. Did they just tell him never to pass or uh, only pass rush, never, never run stuff? Because neither one of them have good block sheds. I mean, Joey worse than him, but. I don't understand why their why their block shit's so low. It must be the way they play, right? Their their scheme, their stance, where they stand at of like their scheme just always has them pass rushing, so I guess they, they can't honor them as a run stuffer. I'm not really sure. But regardless, this post looks really, really good. Powered up and chemed up guys, ninety four acceleration. He can get to eighty seven speed. And of course his finesse move can get up to a ninety nine. So he's gonna have a ninety nine finesse move. He's gonna have a ninety he could get up to a ninety speed with sprinter plus and he get uh, get it well no. I, th I forget if it's in the 89 or 90. But either way, the card looks amazing. You'll get up to um, 95 play recognition. This card's great. It's a really good card, 95 overall right end. Yes, his block shit's going to be a bit low. He's not going to be the best run stuffer. But, of course, 
you're in the, if you're in the market for a boast card, you know what you're dealing with here. But he looks good. The card art looks cool. Him and Gurley are solid drops. And that's what I like about these Thursday LTDs. Now, what sucks is I think there's no more Thursday LTDs after the holidays as well. Pretty much, they cut out all daily content for us. Which I don't understand. I mean, I, I might not know enough about it, but I don't understand why you can't pre-schedule. It's like it's just two cards. Why you can't just pre-schedule two cards for the next three weeks, right? Two a week for three weeks. So do six cards. Make them, make them this past week. Have them ready to go and launch. I, I'm, not, I'm not really comprehending why they can't do that, but they literally shut out all daily content for the month. So that better mean that Zero Chill's crazy. That's the only way it's forgiven. Zero Chill better be a crazy promo if they're taking away stuff from us all month. Hopefully. But... Moving on from that, guys, we did have some zero chill. There's some zero chill leaks from the stream the other night, or uh, the stream yesterday morning, I believe. Sorry. Uh, so it says chill factor, snow, and blitz. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself and say that that blitz is going to be a blitz promo for Christmas, but we did in years past in Madden 20 have a blitz for Christmas. Last year was Madden 21. Now, Madden 21 was a weird year. It was one of the better years for people playing, but one of the worst games, right? It, it was weird. It was like we had a high community, a uh, high community like fan base last year. But a bad game. This year we have a much better game, but a lower community. We must have lost trust with them. I don't really know. But point is, in Madden 20, we had a really cool holiday snow blitz, right? Last year we didn't, and we suspected we would. So this year we weren't suspecting it, but this could mean that we're having another blitz. Now, could this just be from, you know, the current game, the blitz we just had? It's possible, you know, because they have obviously a different a different beta software of Madden that they kind of show, like, their updated uh, version with all the stuff they're working into the game. But they did show Snow and Chill Factor. So there are going to be two different currencies. So Snow is going to be the generic one. And Chill Factor is going to be the interesting one here. It, snow could be what you use for like presence and zero chill that stuff. And Chill Factor could be what you use for like maybe Ghost and Madden players. Or maybe that could be the one for presence. Or that could just be the, that could be the Blitz stuff. I don't really know. But either way, we do have two types of currency. Which is interesting because we've never gotten two. I don't believe. As much as I can remember, I don't believe we've ever gotten two currencies. Like similar, right? Chill Factor, Snow. Like usually it's like we got bats and that's it. We got snow, that's it. But it is interesting to see that we do get two different currencies for the same promo. Now I wonder now if you look here, Chill Factor looks kind of like a shield, and the snow looks like a snowflake, obviously. So I think that's gonna be the generic one. Chill Factor, I really don't know what it'll be for. Maybe it's gonna be for cool stuff. Maybe it'll be for like a weekly blitz that we do have. Maybe you need it to participate in presents. Now I wonder how you get it. Could be from solos. Could be from house rules. Could be ghost players. Maybe maybe ghost and Madden players sell for Chill Factor. Zero chill self for snow. It's a way of separating it to like two different esque promos, which could be cool as well. I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that either, quite honestly. And then there's the blitz. I, I I don't know if that applies to, but if we did get a blitz, I don't know when we get it. It would probably be the week of Christmas, right? It would probably maybe it would start on Christmas. I don't remember when Madden 20 when we got the blitz. I don't remember the exact dates, but either way, a blitz nonetheless is always going to be super cool, regardless. You know, I, I won't complain about another blitz. But uh, yeah, you guys know how the Christmas promo will work. I believe he did say we'll be back with Agent K on Monday. So that does mean Zero Chill is probably starting Monday, which would mean today's the 10th and it's Thursday, so 11th, 12th, 13th. It'll probably start the 14th-ish. So that's actually pretty cool. It's pretty early. So that gives us about 11 days till Christmas, which is a nice countdown of you know content. We'll probably, like I always say, we always start with Zero Chill and out of position players, and we work our way up to Ghost and, you know, well, Zero Chill, out of position players, at Presence, and then we work our way up to Ghost, and then maybe there'll be some, maybe a Blitz this year because I think that's how we ended a Blitz towards the end of the year. And then even a second wave of presents would be super cool. We always want one, but we never get one. Last year, I think, I don't know if it was last year, two years ago, we suspected we were getting a second wave of presents and we never did. So hopefully we don't get in that. That'd be cool. It really keeps it interactive all the way up until the end of the month. But yeah, pretty much wraps up today's video. That covers just about everything I need to cover. LTDs are really good. That's, that's always good. And then of course, the Zero Chill News is cool as well. Again, if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in today's video or the next video, I should say, like, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and turn on the Nodi Bell. As well as, if you guys do need coins to pick up the LTDs or just save up for zero chill, head over to my reserve. Take advantage, you guys. You can get super cheap coins for a reduced rate with my code, of course, code Poodle for 15% off. And not to mention the fact that you do get holiday discounts. Many people want to pick up packs. Just go ahead. I'm telling you guys, those bundles are those bundles are bad. 100 bucks for a bundle. You still might not get the LTD and you still might end up buying coins anyways. You know what you guys want to see next. Let me know what you guys are doing. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.